Hi everyone, it's Andrea here and today I'm going to give you my 2017 bookish resolutions. I have no, many, I have no idea how many of these there are, there's maybe five, maybe six, who knows. So, the first bookish resolutions, and they're, like I said, they're not all reading related, but they all do have something to do with books, is to do more colouring. So um, a lot of you out there do a lot of adult colouring. I've started doing some in the last couple of months. I've got three colouring books. The first one is Colouring for Mindfulness Gardens, 50 Designs to Help You De-Stress. And that's the only one I've done so far in that, but I, you know. They also want you to draw and I don't do drawing. Um, then I've got the two that I received um, from Carlton Publishing. Thank you, Carlton and Carol, for sending me those. And that's the Fairyland Colouring Book. As you can see, I've done this one fairy. She's a bit pink. And also the Butterflies Colouring Book. I love the Butterflies one. You can see I've done that one. I hope you can see it because I can't see it. There we are. And I've started this one. You can see the little roses. So I want to do some more of those. As you can see, I haven't done very much. Um, so that is resolution number one. Resolution number two goes hand in hand with the colouring books and that is I want to listen to some audiobooks. I haven't listened to an audiobook in over 20 years. I used to listen to the Terry Pratchett um, Discworld series on cassette. That's how long ago it was when I lived with a, an old ex-partner of mine. We lived in a pub and we used to play it at night. And I've got to be honest, listening to audiobooks at night in bed used to just send me to sleep. Not because the stories were boring, but because it's just I just find it relaxing so what I plan to do is my other half loves football so instead of coming upstairs to read while he's watching the football I will sit on the sofa next to him he can watch football I can do some coloring and listen to some books I've already got one on my um, phone I've downloaded audible and I've picked up dark matter by Blake Crouch I want to say I'm not actually sure but I've got that one ready to go for resolution number two resolution number three is read more classics I love classics I particularly love classics like Thomas Hardy I love Thomas Hardy um, I want to get more of his books and read them I've got and I can see them because they're actually behind the camera I've got Far From, Mad Far From the Mad Madding Crowd The Woodlanders Under the Greenwood Tree The Return of the Native the Mayor of Castor Bridge, I think that's it. I've also read Tess of the Durbervilles, but I didn't like it very much, but I want to read them all again, so. I've got very old penguin um, ones, or cheap, not penguins are cheap, but they were actually nice editions. But I want to get them all, all the Thomas Hardy ones in the Folio Society editions, which I can get off of eBay, as I like those. Um, but I also want to read um, more Austin. I want to read some Russian literature, for instance, War and Peace. I know Olive over at Book Olive is planning on reading War and Peace sometime next year, so um, I think she's going to do it as a read along. So I'm going to get a copy and read that. Um, but there are so many up there modern classics and classics. For instance, I've this year I read Jamaica Inn by Daphne du Maurier, and I picked up Rebecca, and I'm going to be picking up The Birds and other short stories soon, so I want to read those. So read a lot more classics. That's number three. Number four, read more books on a buy. This is never going to happen. Never, ever, ever going to happen. I can read a maximum of 22 books in a month. That's the most I've ever read um, since I started book two. I usually buy about 30 books a month. So um, I'm going to try, but I don't see it happening. I mean, even this month, I think I've bought more or been given, because if we've had Christmas, I had uh, some for presents, but I've also bought a few as well. But, as my partner says, if you see them somewhere like in a charity shop, you buy them because they're there. They might not be there next time you go. So that's number four. <laughs> number five is beat my Goodreads challenge. Again, this year I smashed my Goodreads challenge. This is actually being filmed prior to New Year's Day. So I don't know exactly how many I will have finished by New Year's Day, especially if I complete the uh, Holiday Book Tubeathon. That's gonna be another, another three. I think I'm currently on 167 or 168 books this year. Uh, my goal was 125. I've smashed it by over 40. Some of these have been short books, some of these have been long books. I don't really worry about it. I'm not going to give myself a really massive target of 160 because that's what I've read. That would be stupid. But I'm willing, you know, I'm going to keep it around the 125, 135 mark. So I might put it up by 10, but that would be it. Because I may not read anything. Or if I'm reading something like War and Peace, it's going to take me longer. But saying that, 
I read the book on the Romanovs, that took me three and a half weeks. I'm still ahead of the other books. So the, that is the next one, and I've forgotten what number I'm on, but hey, who cares, I think it was number five, or it might be number four, who knows, what else? The next bookish resolution is I want to sort out all my writing, because like most readers, I write as well. I don't write very often, um, mostly I write poetry if it comes into my head, I scribble it down, I work on it, and I file it. I've done that for ages and it's a complete and utter mess. I have a big box of paper. I have poems scribbled on napkins, pieces of cardboard that go on takeaway containers from when I used to work in, in, in a fast food place. Um, anything I can scribble on, I scribble on and then I just file it. So I'm going to sort all that out next year. That is my main thing. I've got to sort that out because it's a mess. I want to try and compile a, a, a poetry pamphlet and publish it through Lulu or Amazon. I don't know yet but I'm going to see. Um, so that is one more. The last one is, this is my last resolution, is something I've got to do or I've been meaning to do it for a while, is I need to sort out the book room. The book room is where I film. There are one, two, three, four, five bookcases in here. Um, two of them aren't full, but the way I sort my books um, means that they are not for fiction. I do have another bookcase in my bedroom which has all my fiction, some of my fiction on it, but even then that's not the bookcase it's not meant to be for that, it's supposed to be for storing other things. I will be buying a new bookcase in the new year and I want to sort this out and get it all tidy. There's a lot of stuff down here that you can't see that are things like photography books, um, there's a box of candles, what's that over there? Oh some photo frames, um, some wrapping paper I was looking for just before Christmas for birthday paper, I couldn't find it, now I know where it is, it's in here. You see, so there's a lot that needs to be sorted so that I can get this done and I can take you on some bookshelf tours. Obviously you've already seen the Marion bookcases, I'm not going to show you those again, but I do have my fiction collection, my non-fiction collection, um, which is history and true crime, my photography book collection, which is separate, my classics collection, my plays, poetry and short story collection and theatre related ones and then of course there's other entertainment which is anything that's not Marilyn Monroe but is related to film and television and music so there's a lot that I've got to show you next year but I can't do it while this room is a mess so that is my next one so those are all my bookish resolutions that I can think of at the moment apart from go shopping for books in places like London, going to London next year so I plan on doing some little bookshop hopping. Um, I plan on going to the book barn in Bristol with my dad um, in the new year, yay! There will be my annual trip to Hay on Wye because that's always good, I can't wait to get back to Murder and Mayhem. And that's it really, yeah, sorting out, a lot of it's sorting out stuff but um, it's all books and it's all good. So that's me for now. Um, obviously I'll be back soon with a end of month wrap up, my December wrap up. It might be split into two. I haven't decided yet because obviously I don't know how many books I'm going to finish reading. I've got a feeling it's going to be a part one and part two because I, I think it's going to be around 20 books. Again. But that's good. We like that. So anyway that's all from me. I'm looking forward to seeing your resolutions. I have been watching them um, as they've been coming up. So here's to a happy 2017 and lots more reading, lots more books and lots more booktube. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye now.